here. I'm here with Frank Azor, the co-founder of Alienware. Hey Frank, how are you? I'm doing great. Having a great time here at PAX Australia. Okay, so you've just launched one of your thinnest laptops. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a really, really exciting week for us. We came to PAX Australia to actually launch our brand new Alienware M15 laptop. It's the thinnest and the lightest weight laptop we have ever launched before. So we took our Alienware 15 notebook, which we've been selling for a few years now, and we put it on a massive diet. So that notebook weighs about almost double the amount of weight of the new notebook that we just launched. So you can count on this being about half the weight. So I don't know how to translate it into kilograms, but it's about 4.7 pounds. The new Alienware M15 has the latest processors from Intel, the latest graphics from NVIDIA. Um, it has 144 hertz screens, up to a 90 watt hour battery, so you can get up to 17 hours of battery life on this notebook. Um, all the Alien FX lighting you'd expect on our keyboard, the, Alien, uh, the Alienware industrial design. But probably what's most important and what's really impressed everybody here at the show is the build quality of the notebook. Alienware is really well known for building some, I mean, solid tanks when it comes to uh, gaming notebooks. And people were a little worried that when we built our first thin and light gaming notebook that we'd have to compromise that. But we didn't at all. We used magnesium alloy and all the typical construction techniques that we've used over the last 20 years or so. And when you pick up this laptop, you can feel it's just absolutely a quality product. So we're really proud of it. Sure. Um, so, what can you tell us about um, sort of the design process or the development process without you know, giving away any trade secrets? Well, I'll tell you, it took us about 20 months since we started the process with this uh, notebook until where we are today here launching it. Um, I mean, the amount of thoughtfulness that goes into the planning, all the design decisions we make, the thermal decisions, the battery decisions, the features. I mean, every little millimeter of this product is debated, it's researched, it's argued, it's, uh, it's carefully decided upon. Um, and that's part of the reason why it takes us so much time to do this, is we really take this matter very serious. We have a brand that uh, it has a promise with it. People have an expectation when they own an Alienware product. And we take that as a very serious responsibility. So when it came to the M15, we had a lot of debates around how much battery life do we want to give customers? How are we going to design it so that the skin temperatures are comfortable for people? How are we going to ensure that the performance is going to meet and exceed customers' expectations? Because we didn't compromise any performance between the old model and the new model. So weight, what materials are we using? What's it going to cost so that it can be somewhat reasonable in terms of affordability? Like there's just so many factors that go into this product. I cannot understate how literally every millimeter was debated. So as a layperson, um, sell this to me. Why should I purchase this laptop over anything else available on the market? Well, first and foremost, um, it's an Alienware product. And anybody that knows Alienware knows that we build a really high quality, highly dependable product. Gaming, you know, in the old days, it was just a hobby and entertainment. It was kind of all just fun and games. Today, it's much more serious. You know, people are much more competitive. We have esports, aspiring esports athletes, and your machine is something that you highly depend on to be able to compete effectively. You want to compete with something that's not only going to perform well, but that you can depend on, and that's going to mean the difference between you spending time training, competing, or spending time tinkering and trying to fix your computer. We don't want you having to worry about that. Second of all, it's a lightweight notebook that has incredible gaming performance. You finally have a gaming notebook that you can use all day, every day with you, whether you're at school, whether you're at work, and then when you have time to play games, it's one product, you get all your gameplay done in it. So it's kind of like the perfect all-in-one notebook, if you will. And it's relatively affordable. Um, you know, it's, it's really reasonably priced all over the world and here, even here in Australia. So I think all those three things combined, it's, it's kind of the perfect product for anybody that's willing to um, compromise just a tad bit of performance or I want a little bit of a smaller screen size than like our flagship 17-inch product has to offer and they really want something more mobile. Sure. So you mentioned esports a little bit and I know that you've talked about esports potentially becoming an, an Olympic sport one day. Um, how has that sentiment been received? Well, I think there's a, a lot of energy and a lot of excitement for esports right now. When you look at the traditional sports leagues and how they're crossing over now into esports. We're partners with McLaren, for example, on the racing circuit, and we're partners on, on the actual racing side and also on the esports side. We're partners with the NBA on their uh, efforts, and 14 of the 17 teams that are part of the NBA 2K League are using Alienware systems. 
our partners, Team Liquid, they actually have a lot of professional athletes and owners from uh, basketball and baseball and football associations that are part of their ownership team and structure. And they just recruited Michael Jordan as one of their investors, actually. So a huge thing. So there's a lot of crossover going on now between traditional sports and esports. And we kind of look at personally like the Olympics as kind of the flagship to symbolize that we have finally crossed over. So we're doing what we can. You know, it's a slow process. It's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of proving itself. But I think we've seen less exciting sports come into the Olympic uh, games and esports. It, it, it more than merits its position there. It's just going to take some time and we're really happy to be part of that journey. I mean, I was doing a little bit of researching and um, in London in 1948, the arts, like poetry, were in the Olympics. So, you know, anything can happen. A anything can happen, absolutely. Definitely. Uh, so if people wanted to purchase your product or stay in touch with you, how can they do that? So if you want to stay in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter at Azor Frank. That's A-Z-O-R-F-R-A-N-K. Um, I suggest you follow Alienware as well. Um, and then if you want to purchase any of our products in Australia, JB Hi-Fi offers just about all of them. And they'll have the, the brand new Alienware M15 in store in the next few days. And then, of course, Alienware.com. You can find anything you want on there as well. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Just that, you know, this is just an incredible show. I was here two years ago at PAX Australia, and the show has grown so much. There's so many more people here. There's so much more space allocated. It's really great to see the Australian gaming community come together the way that they are. We've been selling and coming to Australia now for about maybe 14 years, if I remember correctly. So we saw the opportunity a long, long time ago before many did, but we were kind of almost alone in this in terms of uh, being a company here. And to see all these great companies, to see all these great gamers and, and, and enthusiasts and cosplay, it's just the excitement and the energy that we've seen in North America and in Europe and in China, it's here now. Gaming is relevant in Australia, it's growing, it's big, and we're just really happy to be a part of it. Well, Frank Azor, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely, thank you for having me.